And welcome back David on today's Karen. WLOX Book Club. The author of My Neighbors, Good Life Mississippi, is here to tell us all about her new book. Yeah, we welcome Eileen St. Laurent to the uh, 4 o'clock show. Good to see you, Eileen. I know you're from Hattiesburg. Where are you right now? Hi, I'm in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, beautiful. in my home. Uh, it's so good area. to see you. Thank you so much for having me. Well, WLOX you know, TV 13 holds a special, special place in my heart and soul because growing up in Petal, Mississippi, we could only get two channels, <laughs> Channel 7 and Channel 13. Yeah. That's great. We hear that all the time, <laughs> by the way. Well, this book sounds fascinating. It's 11 stories, and they're all told through the eyes of a, a character of a young girl, right? Yes. Mary Myra Boone, who's 12 and a half almost, was from Meridian, Mississippi, and she had to move to Good Life, Mississippi, uh, to live with her elderly grandparents outside of Soso and Ellisville and Laurel in the um, early 1960s because of a tragic event in her life. And so she's never been to school and she ends up living with them and surrounded by these hundred people. And uh, the first book was Good Life, Mississippi. And this book, um, My Neighbors, follows it, actually. You don't have to read both books, but, you know, it could help you if you wanted to. Yeah, and so, so I'm, ju I'm just curious, Ellen, we don't have a lot of time. So you take, oh, you take readers back to Mississippi in the early 1960s. So what kind of things are happening in Soho and uh, uh, Laurel at that time? Well, this is, this is magical realism. It's across, um, the characters are... Um, from the spirit world between it's a microcosm between heaven and hell. Some are dead, some are alive. It's God, his angels, the devil, and his, where the worlds to commingle and the real and the imagined never cease to exist. Mm. Well, that sounds interesting for sure. And I love your style of writing. I did um, look through the pages and, and you were nominated for Southern Light, Oxford, Mississippi. So, uh, and that is uh, the book that you got the uh, Pulitzer nomination for. Did that have a similar theme or anything? No, totally, it's totally different. different. Totally different. I can write fortunately in any genre, which is unusual. This is Southern Gothic literary fiction, magical realism. It was a bestseller as well before it hit. July, uh, January the 2nd, and I am from, like you said, Hattiesburg. I was born in Hattiesburg and raised in Petal, and I wasn't born during these years. No. I feel like these <laughs> characters come to me and I channel their stories. So what's next for you, Eileen? I hope a radio, um, excuse me, I hope a TV series or a movie. Morgan Freeman, Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, Matthew McConaughey, Lionel Richie, are, I have looked at my book. I requested it and I'm hopeful. I don't know. I would like a Netflix series and I would like to bring good things to Mississippi. Wow, those well, are that's some big exciting. names. Yeah, yeah, that really is exciting. All right, Eileen St. Lauren, thanks for watching WLOX so yeah. many years ago and uh, we are glad you're having so much success as an author. Thank you so much for having me. And would like to say